Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a video um, just about summer for your nails, um, just to look good for summer. Um, it's, it's inspired by summer, it's inspired by flowers, just all the different things of summer. Um, so I'm going to be using a Midnight Black nail polish, and it actually, it's, <laughs> it's looking a little blue because... Uh, I was doing a friend's nails, and I ran upstairs to go get all my nail polishes, and they were uh, in a cute little bag like this, and I dropped the bag, and the nail polish exploded and went all over my other nail polishes, and now I, I can't get the remains of it off. But it is a midnight black, so <laughs> midnight black nail polish. Um... I'm doing this because I was just inspired, you know, you're always out late at night in the summer and it's just, it's always pitch black out and you're always just having fun, so doing a midnight black, cause, and then I'm going to be doing a yellow too. This is going to be my yellow for my flowers. Um, so I, this isn't a thin brush, you might uh, be noticing that, and we'll get to that though. Um, but it can be a thin brush yellow, or it can be just a big base yellow like this. And that's all I'm going to be using. Uh, also, uh, for nail polish. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what size my flowers are going to be yet. So, I'm going to be using one of these little uh, rhinestones here. I'm not sure which one yet. Okay, so to start with, you want to get some cotton balls. Just put the two cotton balls at the top, squeeze them together, and flip over your nail polish. So, just rub on your nails, I guess. Until all the nail polish comes off. Okay, so once you remove all your nail polish, you're ready to start with your black base coat. So remember to always shake your nail polish before use, because otherwise it could get runny and you just, you don't want to use runny nail polish. So just do a nice even base coat. Okay, so once your base coat is officially done, and dried. I did two coats on mine. Should have some kind of a midnighty black color. You want to get started with your yellow. So you want to grab a, a piece of paper and put a dot of yellow nail polish on the piece of paper. And I have a very fine pointed pen. Um, and I'm just going to dip that point into my yellow. And instead of using a thin brush, I'm going to be using my pen. So I'm going to be putting it on this index finger here.
Okay, so now I've finished one full flower. But I'm also going to be doing a stem. So it'll look a, a lot more flower-like. I'm also going to be doing a few petals just up here. I'm gonna do just a little wispiness. I don't know what to call it. But just like a little line here. So, something like this. And right next to that yellow one. line, sorry. Yellow line next to that silver line. Okay, so now is the time you're going to use your uh, rhinestone. Now you want to find a size that matches the size of the middle of your flower. So I'm going to take one off. And then, of course, stick it to the center of my flower. And do that for each flower. It really creates the flower. Okay, so my nails are all done, and here's the finished product. They look really great uh, from far away, and they also look really good close up.